Hey guys, welcome back to my new setup. It's been a while, but here we are sitting in a new vibe, a new ambience, and let's go ahead and talk about what's new with Tesla and with Project Highland. Now this one right here is quite interesting and I'm quite surprised that no one has really covered it up to this point, but Highland is coming up with something new here that we haven't really discussed in any of the previous topics. This is going to do with the brand new Matrix matrix LED bulbs inside of the Highland vehicles. This is completely different than what we currently have in the Model 3s and the rest of the lineup. Newly released animations directly from Tesla has shown off this new headlight that is supposedly going to be much wider range and display in a much higher resolution than what we see in the Model 3 that we have on the roads today. Now, this is not saying that the current models that we have with the rounder housing does not not pump out just as much light but the beam pattern is definitely going to be different and what the technology inside is going to make a major difference in the world of pushing images on the wall. So obviously with this refresh here, we are going to be getting the most distinct feature of it all and that is going to be a much sleeker headlight and tail light. But more specifically, what we're gonna get is the new daytime running light as well as the reflectors and the new matrix LEDs. Now definitely this is going to be something very similar to what I had thought with the sound systems on the current premium interior of the Model Y 3 and S and X. This is something that Tesla has has managed to surpass in a way where we didn't think was possible. For my personal experience, the Model 3 with premium interior just packed that punch so well that there was no need, there was no additional speakers required to make it any better or that's what I thought. And then Tesla somehow decided that they were gonna add a bunch more speakers in and a bunch more power in to the new Highlands. Now definitely a little off topic here, but we are going from 13 speakers now to 17 speakers all together and it's going to be incredible and I can't wait to sit in the car and crank it up to 11. So very similar to that, Tesla has somehow managed to increase the output of the headlights and made it that much better in terms of range and the overall visibility. From what we've been seeing with the exterior shots of the Model 3 Highland, it looks very likely that this is going to include a lot more LED diodes. That means that there is going to be a lot more precision when it comes to to images on the wall and a lot of images that are going to be able to be projected onto the ground and this opens up a wide array of opportunities and possibilities for future augmented reality. On top of all that, it seems like the reflector has been shifted around making it a lot better in terms of how much it should be able to reflect light from side to side and that makes a lot of sense because for the very first time, Tesla has gone away with the separated fog lights and has integrated into to the same headlight housing. This means that the reflectors are going to have to reflect down onto the ground for the fog light portion. And then for the rest of the portion, they are going to be relying on the top half of those reflectors and LED bulbs. So what this all means is that there is going to be a bunch of LED diodes packed into such a small and sleek space. But that also means that we are going to be seeing a larger output of light when we are turning from side to side. And looking at this animation, one more time, you can see what the typical one looks like and what the upgraded one also looks like now. Now going by this information and real world testing coming up very soon once people take delivery of their vehicle, we are going to be seeing this integrated into other models as well, the Model S and X and then the Model Y for the very last vehicle. So now what we can get from all of this is that the hardware is already there as you guys can already see from the Model 3s that we currently have, which can project the Tesla text onto the wall. You can see that the resolution isn't as high, although the technology is there and all it needs is a software update. The same is likely going to go with the Project Highland vehicles here. Everything is ready to go and all it takes is an OTA update for everything to be activated. And this opens up a lot of opportunity for future updates that will push the boundaries of these new hardware. A lot of car manufacturers have pushed the boundaries of their matrix LED system. As you guys can see with Audi, they can use the high beam on at all time and section out the parts that has vehicles in its path. It can also do things like have navigation points
pointed on the ground so you know where your upcoming turn is. It can light up certain sections of the road so you can pay attention to that more so than other parts. Like I said, VR is going to be a huge thing once the software is there and I really can't wait until Tesla pushes this out for all vehicles that is possible, capable of using this technology and then the Highland is going to get a little bit more with more higher resolution LEDs. Can you imagine how cool it would be if Tesla can project a game of Pong onto a flat surface and you control everything on the MCU or the steering wheel and that is something that might be possible with the new Matrix LED on the Highlands. So yeah, just to wrap everything up here, there is a lot of interest in the Model 3 once again and this is exactly what Tesla has been going for all these years. The Model 3 sales seem to have trickled down throughout the years and this is going to revive everything. The Model 3 Highland has been perceived very well by customers and testers so far. Everything from the exterior and interior and all the minor details is going to be covered in this channel here. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe and that bell notification. And if you guys want to chat with me freely, uh, just hit me up on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. I'm pretty active on there and you guys can get a response from me within a few minutes if you're lucky. So yeah, add me up on those. And if there is anything else I've missed, let me know in the comments below or just throw me a comment anyways. I try to respond to all of them. I've just started to set up the studio. So there's going to be a lot of changes from what you're seeing right now. And hopefully audio, lighting, and a lot of better things are going to change. I'm really glad you guys have stuck around. I really do appreciate that. This should be it for this one. This is John once again. Peace out.